how to create colourful gradients like these in Affinity Designer version 2 or 1. I'd create a long rectangle, really nice long rectangle, just makes it easier to add stops. So go over here to the gradient tool and then drag across and hold down the shift. So you go right from the left all the way over to the right. You've got two stops. There's always two stops, minimum. Can't reduce, remove any. What you can then do is you can hover along this line and you can see you get a little plus, the cursor changes. And just click and that adds a color stop. At the moment, it will be slight variation of the first stop. Click there, click there, and you can go very rapidly add loads and loads of stops all the way along. And this makes it a lot easier. If you've got a very small object, it's very hard to add stops. So you can just add them and you don't have to add obviously hundreds, you can add maybe 10 or 15. But once you've added them, you can see you've got plus there, hover over it again, and you can see then you get the cursor change. So you can move it, you can turn around and say, oh, I want it in a different position. Go to this one, I can select that one. And as you select it, you'll notice it's slightly bigger. You've got a small stop there, you've got a very big, that's the current selected one. And you can move it back and forth. Now at the moment, they're all green. Now I went for green because I want a green gradient as a sort of default color. Well, I can now go to swatches. You can find that in the window menu. And you can go here, click here. Any of these color swatches now, you can click. So just select this one, click there. Maybe go here, select that one, and then maybe blue. Or you can go here, down here and maybe seaside, select that. You've got all the colors associated with the seaside. So then simply go here, select that, and you can click here, maybe click this one, and you can set it so it becomes a gradient that's based around the seaside. And you can do that obviously with all of these stops and you don't have to add all, if you suddenly add a stop, you think, you know what, I don't want that stop. You can always just press the delete key. So delete key and it will remove it. So go to this one and then delete key and it's gone. So once you've done that, you've added all your stops and you're really happy with your gradient. You can also change it over here as well. You can just go up here, click here, and you'll see exactly the same. But I prefer just to create it using this rectangle approach. You may prefer to use this, but unfortunately this panel, you can't drag out and make longer. It'd be nice if you could. Now you want to save it. Well, you might not want to save it, but if you want to save it, you can go to the swatches panel and you can find that in the window menu and swatches. I wouldn't say seaside, but go for gradient or gradients. Now, for some weird reason, I've got two, but I'm going to go with the gradients one. And I want to click here. The key thing is to make certain this is the color there. And the best way to do that, if you haven't got it, is to go to the move tool and it will make certain that the color there is the color for the swatch. And then you can add it because sometimes it might be a solid color. If it's a solid color, you're not going to save that. You're just going to save a blue or a green. This saves the gradient. So click here. And as soon as you've done that, it's been added very quickly there. Now you can, of course, select any of these other ones. So I've got this one here, or this one, and so on. And then you can modify that. So again, to modify it, simply go to the gradient tool. And you can see again, you've got this long line all the way across here. And you can add some points. So click there, or stops. You can add those and again quickly go back to the colors and you can change them. So go for greens, pinks, etc. Now you can see in this case the type is elliptical. That's stored away. So because I was using a linear gradient, that was stored. You can always change it to radial ellipse later. It's not stored as that, but it's just stored as is at the time. So you can just run through those, change the colors. Now, if you want to save it, again, go back here, go to the gradients, and you'll see here, you've got this solid color. Now, I don't want to save that. What I want to do is, again, go back here to the move tool, and now you can see your gradient there. And this time, it's still elliptical. I could have made it, obviously, linear, but it's elliptical. And again, go down here and click here, and it's saved now. So I've got my new gradient very quickly saved with all the additional colors. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.